ward first, so Chris Luck brings himself a oh sentry. It's a two man cog up on top, going to combine with a torrent. Both go flying up to the AK1. He's so low, actually takes the burn from the cogs, and there's one last hit from Zhao Yi to do it. Stinger body blocked up a little bit. It's actually the battery assault making it difficult to retreat. Work Chris Luck feels a little bit more pressure. The timing's a little bit off, however, but K1 sees the opportunity. Zhao Yi being nice. dived into the tier one tower, and K who cares if this ogre runs around throughout your map? On the top lane, they go again. That combat lane of Ori yep. and PYW doing its work. Even with half life and enough mana for one orb and a dream coil, he still rotated down. So you'll orb and uh, do the rift instead. Has to TP away to safety, but this now isolates up Xiao Yi. He's totally alone and he will not be able to retreat. Almost 700 movement speed on this Bloodseeker. Eight and a half minutes in. You just can't escape from this. And Cotton, same kind of situation for him. Follow up dream coil. Sandstorm, they brought dust. So DY revealing Whisper. He doesn't want to outrun this, but it won't matter. Eurus will line up. He'll be ready for that waveform to find the kill if he even needs it. Save the Man up, nope, you'll come down for it. Up. You look at this. Oh, clockwork, Hulk shots himself in, able to control the Templar Assassin, nowhere to hide. They throw everything, including the kitchen sink, at Chris Luck. Refraction charges will wear off, he's got Mel, but it won't matter. Still dusted up. I'm not sure I'm buying this, uh, this Lincoln, though, for yours. Oh, nice catch again. BYW just holding Stinger in position. The Blood Rite will arrive. Causing a couple of problems for the clockwork, and now with a will o wisp, they're being dragged back with the blind light, meaning there's gonna be a secondary pulse on the PYW. Even the dream call trying to create a little bit more space. The clockwork, the cotton blast brings him low, but the stick charges. Not to mention the raindrop pop that happened previously. Saving his life, another blood right. Looks like Bloodseeker may be forced into a battle. He's still got good movement speed, but DY, there's your multi cast he's searching for. Skullfield, maybe more space being created. Rupture on DY. That's a lot of fat to bleed. And Jakira will try and do something about him as the Puck Orbs fall, but Templar Assassin now joins this fight as well. Ogre is being sold up by Jakira. The TPL will be successful. The oh, boat oh. will fall down. Kunkka. ...around the map. A Lincoln's on Eurus, a, a, a Valence, a Blink on the Puck. Nobody's going to be able to make moves for Sorry. some time. Keeping the silence over on the Sand King. Has Dream Call available, will end up using it, but now yeah, with the dust. Sand King still revealed, has his own Barra Strike, but looks like Eurus can use it better. Attention gets pulled towards Clockwork, who hook shots himself out. Of course, that rupture is still going to have its effect. Battery Assault won't do much. K1's found the kill, and Roshan down one third of his HP already. I really feel like you're going to have the edge. Our strike begins it. They have the rupture, but it's Chris Luck with a double damage rune. They need to catch out Eurus, the TP. Oh, the burst strike from Whisper, barely too close away. Morphling up to the top lane. He wasn't even TPing home. He was the tower. He'll orb to reveal himself, but Jakira is wrapping one. around the back. You got Keeper of the Light here. Clockwork throws a rocket. Double TPs also on the way. Sand King still has Fire Strike. Dust will reveal him. Trying to play inside the trees. Blood Rite's going to be there. Is there going to be the stun? Is there going to be a good target? DY's already dropped down to the Templar Assassin. Whisper is just playing inside the trees. There goes your Fire Strike. He's played so long. The dust has worn off. Hookshot forward is able to connect. He's in range of the Tier 1 tower. That's the only reason they saw him, but they're just committing so hard under the Tier 1 tower vg gaming throwing their bodies against the wall what i sent useful net worth the smoke gang's coming in jakira will be the primary target underneath the shrine i love okay one only now just realizes it says maybe i should stop farming they got him but once again that's the second or third time i've seen a huge rotation from vg Half minutes in. Why there not? it is. Blink and just bar a strike for the Observer Ward gave them all the information on Puck they needed. The Dream Call catching two, but the Blood Rite allows protection for Beast Coast. Even though the ship is coming in, Whisper will get hit pretty hard by this. He can bar a strike away. Even the Willow Wisp is like the creating perimeter of just defense for this attack from Beast Coast, dropping the tower on Observer Ward. That's what allows the hook shot forward right on top of the Keeper of Light. Blood Rite going to come a little bit too late. And Clockwork's already teeping up a Whisper. Hits the bar a strike. And that is one very dead Clockwork. Ori. I can actually wait half a second just to watch. Force it. If you get a single ice path, the clockwork. Oh, well, Rupture is already out. And with the Melt Strike, Clockwork does not want to be here. But the tier 3 tower is the primary objective. Blood right in the back lines with the Fire Strike. Puck is going to get silenced up. And Bloodseeker straight oh on the way. And DPY, W, he's almost bleeding going back into base. And this is why Bloodseeker is moving so fast at initiation at the start. Giving them all the buffs they need. Puck is dead without buyback available. Another blood ride, creating a perimeter for the bar strike. The man, the ogre, just dies so instantly. You jump forward, but now the issue, the will o -Wisp over on three. VG Gaming underneath almost their own fountain are being hunted by Beast Coast with 23 minutes into this game. And the bottom lane of Rax has been shattered.
Beast Curse playing such a fast tempo, which VG Gaming just can't keep up with. You, you gotta see this coming, though. This For the top Bloodseeker is the primary objective. How much damage can they do? We still got BKB available, but the E-Blade pop, they do a lot of work with actually oh. Man DY. He died to Chris Luck, who was also there, but now Chris is in the middle of this fight with the BKB. He can just walk straight out of the puck control. More support is arriving from Beast Curse. Epicenter from Whisper. Well, it'll make ripples. Be very happy to have that. Won't be so happy to keep getting hit by these torrents. Eat by pop. Keeper of the line down to 200 clockwork. Hook shots himself in, but he gets caught and blocked up by Chris Luck as well as Jakira. They'll burn the BKBs. PYW able to go separate as well as one charge up. But Whisper will be there with his own epicenter to get that follow-up kill. And under the Willow Wisp, Eurus caught in a little bit too deep. He changed himself into the escape, but he's getting pulled back in. Now Morse back over with the waveform out. His three heroes down for Beast Coast, and they want a little bit more. K1 has to stay and fight. Inside the blood right, goes to the tree line. Chris Luck, can he actually help out his teammate here? He well, he, he plays away, but he got X. He'll be coming straight back into the fight. No KB, no BKB to protect. And he's hiding inside the melt. The cult just push him around. And VG Gaming wipe Beast Coast in the mid lane. By the time it fades, you're in some deep trouble. I like this from Beast Coast. They're trying to force into the tier three tower. There is a hex over on Kunk. Would it be pulled back by the X mark to spot? So he'll be fine, but with Liquid Fire, they push him pretty hard. X mark is going to be on the Morphling, allowing him to get very aggressive. But if he hits the right line into the trees, the ping is almost right. Just go for the bounty rune and you've got him. Looking for the money. And getting his hand caught in the cookie jar. He does grab the bounty. They get both bounties, wow, actually. This could be a tough fight. They're going for more, but into the TA trap. Hex right on top of DY. And they're going to push them up with the blinding line. DY will fall. Yuris at least, at least wave himself uh -oh. out of the light. But he's, oh, he's actually tripped himself. That's uh, good. He, um, well, Aegis the model will break. There's a Manda style available as well as an E-Blade. Clockwork wants to help out. He's coming as fast as he possibly can. And Morphling still up on the hillside. They'll drop another TA trap, giving oh. him that information. Waveform down, but they stick with him. Looking for the fire strike. It breaks the Linker Spear. PYW, no, the Ice Path. He'll end up catching both of them. Euros is dropping. He'll E-Blade pop himself. They can't do any damage into him. The Drink Call is down. The fire strike into the trees, but he's going to go. Morphling down for the count. But you know Beast Coast is Beast Coast. They want more, but they won't find it. You don't want to just take an immediate 5-on-5 oh, like this. Morrow. How quickly can Eurus go down? The Ice Path will hold him there. The Willow Wiz holding three players as well. He waveforms out of range. But the Clockwork still trapped inside of his own cogs. Being pulled back in by the Willow Wiz. He's standing his own TP. The Ice Path will end up cancelling that one. In the back lines, Keeper of the Life was picked off. Going to be applied. And now, where's your target? DY reveals himself. The Rupture's out. Fire Strike as well. The Ice Path is pretty decent. And maybe with the Willow Wiz be pulled oh, in. Yours, he actually has to go in for that BKB. The Ogre brought back Ori solo and life. Chris Luck looking for the side blade hit. Unable to claim a PYW. That's the target Kate wants at least going to go for. But who's your better one? Kunker now stranded without his immunity. They just open up in the BKBs. Beast Coast waited so long to use them. And now they let them rip. Looking for a new target. Into the blast you come. Combining with the ice blast. Everything will hold in place. VG Gaming. You have to commit another buyback. This one on the clockwork. Puck. Yeah, Blood Rise there. If you want to jump this, you're going into oh. Danger Zone. May just dictate who wins this first game. Or oh, there's a jump in. Keeper of the line being initiated on Puck. The Lincoln Spear's already been broken. Skullcup, he's able to hide in the tree. And he now he gets a four-man hit, but the Blinding Light pushes him out of the Ice Path. It won't stop K1 from moving in, trying to look for his own fight. Hook shot forward. They really want this Keeper of the Light down, and he will be without buyback available. But the Puck loses his life. Here comes your SK. Fire strike the back line, keeping Xiao Yi control, controlled up and stunned with the Ice Path from Singer doing even more work, giving Chris Luck his space to do the damage. But who's it going to go into? The focus still over on the Kunker, but Chris Luck being pushed back by Eurus with the E-Blade pop, and then the Fire Strike forward against its own double stun. And maybe they have enough. Yes, they do. The Templar Assassin will end up falling. Oh, Waveform oh. charges. They move from one target to the other for K1. He's buffed up beyond belief. He is lifting, but he's also getting lifted. Down he will go. The Bloodseeker is no buyback up for the TA. The Melt Bash. It connected to Eurus, but Eurus, a triple kill. His E-Blade pop, and then, yeah, gets him more life back. More fast bounce. Oh, okay. shot. P White. W thinking he can get Chris Luck. The urn charge is problematic. Stinger should be able to finish the job. The TA traps there in case he runs north, but he runs down and then begins the TP. No stun, nothing to actually stop him. That's a clockwork getting out. A lot even fortified to keep the catapults alive. VG Gaming, they want to enter and they want to enter now. With Crimson Gun to protect, their real creep wave will arrive. Blinding Light making it difficult. The Hogshot will be a little bit of a stray. And he has also ruptured us. Move out of the blood right, so there's no silence. He can still play with the cogs. And Eurus will babysit him. More Blinding Light giving that level of protection. 
missed chances galore. The ice path and the macro fire stinger cutting Thanks. this VG Gaming lineup in half, getting hit pretty damn hard. Yurik's gonna waveform himself up. He's actually morphing up, so he's ready for the hit onto the Shakira. They're trying to protect him. Another blood right going down. Another quick silence, but the ship will end up hitting onto Singer. Hey. Buyback to Valor, but K1 into the back lines. Oh, Looking towards PYW. And now you've got a little bit of trouble. The Willow Wisp is down. DY, he's not inside of that. But they want the other target. It's K1 looking for his own fight. But maybe Eurus thinks he's got one of his own. Turns around. The Keeper of the Light dropping down low. Templar Assassin. He's back at base. He needs to come and get back into this fight. He did get out. The Epicenter is trying to the Ice Path. Holds him in position. Singer doing the work. Now no we get to push the TP back in again. He cannot return towards the fight. Leaving now stranded. Poor Conquer to die. You know who's joining him? Morphling. That's number one. Now we go for number two. The gem is dropped. Morphling, Lincoln's will break, Whisper up on the hill, Forstar actually just pushing it back up again, Burris Strike's available, but they're waiting for the range of the ice path, there it goes! That was so Gaming repel back out of East Coast, are coming forward, the ice path won't be able to clip on anything, the tier 3 tower, there's your jump from TA, yeah. looking for a quick target, but the phase shift from Puck and the Dream Call, catching two heroes, plus a couple of illusions, it's oh, it's good news! oh no, TA's down for two minutes, they get the sun as well, Bloodseeker, return it back to himself with the Abyssal Blade, Lotus Sword reflect, Trying to run away, Glimmer K pop protected, but a keeper of the light, he'll go down too. Beast Coast, they just want to force the buyback, and it's so costly. Oh, they got straight into the base and start beating on the throne. You don't need racks at this point. You've got an 80 second window with no TA. Look at them hunting. They're, they're trying to chase down Jakiro. He'll glimmer cape and hide in the tree lines. Puck, no Puck Rock either. Rocket flies over him. Here comes your ice path, the hook shot, a little bit off target. He's wasting time, however, because VG Gaming, they're killing off the Jakiro. Yes, without buyback, but 26 seconds until you have both the SK and the Coddle up, and maybe they're a little bit stronger than the Jakiro. But that may not be enough Ping time. Ping the throne, there you go. Tier 4 Towers time, VG Gaming want to get this game one in the bag. And it looks like they'll have more than enough time. Nowhere near enough damage from Bloodseeker. He's already letting the Rupture go on DY. He will just stand his ground. And she just, okay, I'm next to the Ancient. I, I guess he'll attack that. The Clockwork isolating up the Bloodseeker inside the Cogs. Fortification buying some more time. And the battle is on. The defense, Eurus, just BKB'd, pounding away at this dire Ancient. 